Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Genevieve. My name is Tay. If you're new here, don't forget to follow me on my other socials. I post weekly on TikTok and I go live on TikTok and Twitch every weekend. So today, Jen had a self-care morning. She went and got her nails done. She took herself out for breakfast and she even got her hair touched up at the salon. Love that for her. So we're home from our very long sugar baby vacation and our poor baby Nutella was cooped up in a pet hotel the whole time. Well, I say cooped up, but I'm pretty sure that Nutella was at the best of the best pet hotel because we know that Genevieve is bougie. So she's gonna take care of her pet. But I really want to spend some quality time with Nutella. So I'm going to take her to the dog park. Also, now that Eugene is out of our lives, I also thought it would be really cool to explore dating with Genevieve. So I'm gonna set her up on a few different blind dates and I'm going to need you guys to help me out. You need to help me decide who is the best fit for Genevieve. We are here at the dog park and we're playing a little fetch with okay. Nutella. Cowgirl. She's so cute. Oh my God. Alavine? Shisha. Mm. Yes, Nutella is smart as fuck. She knows how to play fetch. <laughs> She's so cute. I hear these dogs barking and I'm like, <laughs> look at this little dog in a business suit. First of all, how is he a stray dog in this <laughs> in this get up? Who put him who put him dressed like this? <laughs> So this guy named Logan just came over and introduced himself to Genevieve. He came with his dog. This is his dog, Blondie. She's a little white pit bull and I think she's really adorable. I love pit bulls and her little pink nose and pretty blue eyes. Oh, she's so cute. I would love to have a little pink pit bull like this. Genevieve has already gained a sentiment about Logan and it's her first impression. She says her first impression is funny, impossible not to notice that the Sim has a striking sense of humor. I'm very curious to see what his first impression of Jen was. Huh. Okay. His first impression was that she's emotionally impressive. Now and then it's nice to meet someone who is not afraid to share how they really feel about things. Huh. Okay. That's a good first impression. Okay. I'm going to get to know him. I want to know a little bit about his traits. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So first trait we find out is that he's a kleptomaniac. <laughs> Um, is that a red flag? <laughs> but we also learned that he's a tattoo artist. That's pretty cool. That's a cool job, but <laughs> not the kleptomaniac. Okay, now I'm intrigued. I want to know more about you. <laughs> so we have a few options of romantic interest. Of course, Roman is going to be one. We also have Chloe, our best friend that we had a little lesbianist moment with. And now we have Travis. Um, he seems like a good candidate for Jen to kind of, you know, date around with. We'll see if she likes him and, um, maybe we can go on a date. I do like Roman as an option for Genevieve because I feel like the Sims and Salvadorada have a lot of culture and they're big on family. And I just know that he's close with his family and he's a very loyal Sim. That's one of his traits. Now we did have that instance where he texted Jen and asked to go out with another girl, but I feel like the reason he did that was because he had just found out that Genevieve had a whole sugar daddy. <laughs> and with him being a loyal Sim, I could see him being a little jealous and a little turned off by that. Like, girl, why do you have a sugar daddy? Like, what, what, what is that? Like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't like understand that because he's the type to always take care of his woman. And I think that was his payback just like to make Genevieve a little jealous. And honestly, I'll tell you, I felt it. I was jealous. <laughs> but I want Genevieve to try out a few different Sims and I need your help and Genevieve's help <laughs> to figure out who will fare her best. Genevieve is not a home wrecker, so we need to ask if he's single first before we go out on a date with him. Grinnea. Oh, yay. Okay, he is single, so he is a candidate for Genevieve. I think let's, let's go out. Like, we should go out on a date. We made it back home from the dog park, and I'm having Genevieve get ready. I'd like to think that Logan asked us out on a date, so I'm going to say that in my little pea brain. But Logan asked us out on a date, and we are getting ready. 
We just got out the shower. We're here in the closet and I'm going to pick out an outfit for Jen's date tonight. Um, I feel like Logan is very chill, so I feel like she needs a chill outfit to wear. Um, I don't want to be too dressed up, but I don't want to be too dressed down. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like a little cute jumpsuit with some sunglasses on her head. I think this might be cute. Ooh, okay. She looks cute. She looks cute. I like this outfit. She's freshening up a bit, and then we're going to go on our date. You already know before the date, we got to put on a little perfume. He has to know that we are a bougie bitch that smells good. <laughs> Jen is already feeling so flirty. She feels steamy from taking a hot shower. She has a glamorous presence from feeling attractive after primping in the mirror. And she's feeling good from trying on outfits. Okay, I'm just going to purchase a perfume real quick. I want to do a flirty scent because I want to keep that energy. Goddamn, $600. Oof. Well, we have the money to spend, so that's okay, I guess. Okay, it's in our inventory along with our dead parents and a machete. <laughs> Let's put it on. Ooh, okay. She is going to smell good for this date. So I have this dating app called Simda Dating App, and I'm going to use that to go out on a date with him. And this mod is really cool because you can go on like a specific date, a blind date. And you can choose what gender you want your date to be. If you want just a one night stand or if you want like a hookup call, you can schedule that too. It's like I haven't really dabbled in it, but <laughs> it seems really fun. OK, I'm going to do the specific date because I know exactly who we're dating. All right, and it's going to be Mr. Logan Travis. We have made it to our date destination. Logan has brought us to this arcade bar. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, my God, what is Jen doing in a bar when she's an alcoholic? Well, Jen has actually beat her alcoholism. She didn't have a drink for the amount of days that needed to pass for her to not be an alcoholic anymore. So she's actually not an alcoholic. I don't know if she has another drink. Will she become an alcoholic again? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm willing to take the risk because I like having a little drinky drink every now and then. <laughs> So on this date, you do have to do a bit of interactions for you to have a good date. The first one was to ask if you're single. So I just did that because we already know that he's single from our last interaction. And then we have to kiss our date. We have to socialize five times and then we have to flirt five times. So I think that will be super easy to do. Okay, perfect. There is a discount going on tonight with drinks. I'm going to have Logan order us some drinks. I think that I will be a little bougie and get this $46 salty dog. It kind of looks like a shot. So <laughs> we're taking shots right away. <laughs> Bar time. Yeah, and a laugh. We love a man that oh, takes care of our drinks. <laughs> I think he's thinking about Genevieve right now. Oh my God. We got our shot and I am ready to take it. Uh-huh. <laughs> we're up here talking eating some fries <laughs> and then after that we're gonna play some arcade games but this gives me time to socialize a bit we need to discuss Umbraza? our interests uh? so i'm gonna do that <laughs> well let's have a deep conversation after talking for a bit, these two headed downstairs and oh, they're playing this little arcade game. <laughs> Jen is actually really good at video games because she likes to play Mario Party a lot. <laughs> so I want to see if she's going to beat him or what. <laughs> Dad, I say she's really good and then it's like, oh, she just reached level two. <laughs> we got this Dance Dance Revolution. So I want to see if... <laughs> Wait... <laughs> The moves are so stupid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what it's telling you to do, Jen. Look at that footwork. She is breaking it down. Okay, Jen. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Not the crouching bouch. Wow. <laughs> okay. We are playing a little whack a gnome. Come on, Jen. I'm rooting for you, girl. <laughs> 
She keeps missing all of them, sis. Come on, not, <laughs> not you knocking yourself in the face. <laughs> Aww. We have Logan playing the pinball machine here. And Jen is doing a little ski ball. Oh, she's not making it in. Oh, she got one, yay! This seems like a pretty fun date, I like it. Okay, I really wanna see if Logan can get Genevieve a rare prize from this claw machine. Please, come on, please get us something. <gasps> an iPad? Oh my God, did he get us an iPad? Yes! Oh my god, he got us a freaking iPad! Yeah. Yes! Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, he's giving it to us as a present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay! Just for that, he deserves a warm hug. And then, I think also a first kiss, you know? Thank you so much for winning me a goddamn iPad in the pinball machine. <laughs> Ooh, these two really hit it off, and <laughs> I think this is a really good date. I think Jin really is into him. He's different from who she would regularly go for, and I think that's what makes him appealing to her. She's like, ooh, he's like a bad boy. <laughs> Jin has made it home from her first date with Logan, and oh my gosh. I think it was a really good date. She's really into him. She really likes him. And I think he's giving like the bad boy vibe, especially with him being a tattoo artist. And I don't know, like he's different from who she would go for. And I think he seems like a good guy, excluding that he's a kleptomaniac. <laughs> don't brush over that. We can't forget that he's a kleptomaniac. Um, that's a little alarming and I am hesitant to bring him back to Jen's apartment because we do have all of that money in our closet. Let's not forget, baby. <laughs> but I think that went well and I'm excited to do some more dating. Since Jen got home super late last night, she woke up around 5 p.m. today. So I'm gonna have her brew her morning coffee and we'll have some breakfast. Oh my God. So Jen's moodlets, she's feeling inspired and she is really happy from her first kiss, swelling with the feelings of passion and happiness after her first kiss with someone new. She had a weird dream last night. And why do I see that she's hung over from one drink last night? Genevieve is pretty hung over. Maybe that final drink was a little bit unnecessary. <gasps> Okay, we need to calm it down on the drinks because I am not trying to get her to be an alcoholic again. For breakfast, I'm having Jen make these chocolate chip pancakes. I think that's gonna be delicious to have. We are here eating our chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> It looks like it has a big scoop of ice cream on top, and I'm like, mm, I really want to try that now. But we know that Logan is a tattoo artist, so I thought it would be really fun if he gave Jin a tattoo. So he has his own tattoo parlor. We might as well go and check it out and see what that's like. We have made it to Logan's tattoo parlor. This is Plum Bob's tattoo parlor. He owns this shop and he does tattoos here as well. I think it would be a little rite of passage for Genevieve to get her first tattoo. She doesn't have anything, so I think she would get something small and dainty as her first one. And <laughs> I'm really excited to see what we will give her. I have this really cool mod that allows you to have like this tattoo sign and then it allows you to add a tattoo onto your sim. So I'm just gonna click that. You can actually do like a magnetic piercing, a temporary tattoo, um, or a piercing itself. I'm just gonna do a permanent tattoo for $150. And then Logan just said, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. Oh my gosh, I do feel that way about you. Jen has just finished getting her tattoo and she got this really cute bouquet of flowers on the back of her arm. It's very tiny and dainty and I think it's something she would definitely love. Since Jin was already on the table, Logan figured he might as well give her a massage. <laughs> okay. 
Pat huh? Yoin Limla? Logan actually yeah, gave us the yeah. tattoo for free, so Whoa. we are thanking him for that. I am so happy. Jen is feeling a little bit uncomfortable, though, because of the tattoo. It says getting inked, getting a tattoo is pretty painful. Hopefully it heals quickly. This is going to last two days. So she's going to be a little uncomfortable. And we also got a relaxing massage. No stress, no mess, no fuss, no worry. Such a relaxing rub. Thank you again, Logan. Okay, before we leave the tattoo shop, I want to go over everything we've learned about Logan. So we know his trait is bro. These bro sims can hug each other, gain confidence around other bros, and become confident when watching sports. Um, he's a dog lover. He's a kleptomaniac. These sims don't mind borrowing things from others with a simple swipe, but they'll get tense when they haven't swiped anything in a while. Oh, that's a red flag. Um, his likes and dislikes. He likes fitness. He is a tattoo artist right now, and he graduated from high school. As far as their relationship, they're lovebirds. They're actually best friends, and they had an awesome Senda date. Yay. Genevieve's first impression was that he was funny and um, they're deeply connected. Genevieve has a powerful bond with Logan that is a source of strength and comfort. And then Logan's sentiments about Genevieve. Logan wants the best for Genevieve and thinks she's so wonderful. They're closer from happy memories. Logan feels close to Genevieve from good times and happy memories. And then he also thinks they're deeply connected. <gasps> They hit it off really well. Honestly, I'm a bit surprised. It is the next morning and I am super excited because we are going on our second date. Now this one's gonna be a blind date. Naomi is actually setting us up with one of her friends that she knows. So it's kind of like a blind date and I'm super excited to see how this goes. Jen has taken a shower, she brushed her teeth, and now she's getting ready, and I cannot wait for this date. We don't know much, but Naomi advised us to dress to impress, so I'm gonna put this cute outfit on. This dress is very tight, and it's hugging our body just right, so I know it's gonna get his attention. <laughs> All right, so this is our second destination for our blind date. We are here with this sim named Corey. He is really cute and I love the two-toned eyes that he has. I know it's like a condition, but it's gorgeous <laughs> and it looks really, really cute. He's like dressed very nicely. He took us to this amazing spot. When I'm here, I'm like, okay, he got money. Okay, this is fancy. Ooh, this is nice! I don't think he would do this for just any girl, but since Naomi is his friend, I'm pretty sure she hyped us up to him, so he knew to take us to somewhere nice and bougie. He has requested us to have this very bougie table at the roof of the restaurant, and you can see all of the ocean. It's so pretty. This is romantic. I like him. I like him already. So right off the bat, I will say that this is a vibe. I love this restaurant so much. The view is amazing. The sun is out. There's a beautiful, beautiful view of the ocean. There is live music. Oh, this is everything. 10 out of 10 so far. I am really interested to learn more about Corey, so I'm gonna get to know him. Harsagap <laughs> Ooh, one of his traits, he's ambitious. He looks like he's ambitious. Genevieve is very intrigued with what he has to say. Oh, JK. <laughs> she whipped out the phone. I think she just texted Naomi like, Ooh, girl, thank you for setting me up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask him about his career. Let's see, what does he do for a living? He's a songwriter. Oh my god. That's really interesting. I'm just going to double check because Jen is not that girl. I'm going to ask if he's single. Also, look at the moon coming up. Oh my god. That is a vibe. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I'm pretty yes. sure he just said he was single. 
Yes, he is single. Perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and order our food. Okay, so since we're at this very bougie restaurant, I'm going to have a glass of rosé. It's $42, but, you know, we're at this very nice restaurant. Um, I'll have him have some champagne, too. I'll have him have the gold one. It looks like the chef's choice is butter chicken, but mm -mm, I'm going to have the lobster and he can have the steak. This is going to be so romantic because look, the moon is coming out. So are the stars. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a vibe. It's gonna They're going to be like lit up by the candle on the table. <gasps> I'm so excited. The waiter is here to take our order. <laughs> she said, Tanini, get it right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to compliment his appearance because he has a very pretty face. The candlelight is lit. The stars are out tonight. Oh my gosh, now I'm talking about the police. Like, has he been reprimanded by the police? Genevieve is having a nice date with him, though. Okay, we haven't really flirted or anything yet, but um, I'm just gonna do a small flirt. Oh, he's into it. All right, I have them exchanging phone numbers. <laughs> Just so we can save each other's contact info. <laughs> yes, he's saving ours back. Love that. Mm. <gasps> Why is he thinking about woohoo? Oh my god, does he want a one night stand with me or does he want to be my forever? <laughs> okay, Genevieve is feeling very confident, so I'm gonna do a bold pickup line. Oh, yeah, he's into it. Yes. Oh, now he's feeling very flirty. I think we should take our drinks downstairs and watch some live music. <laughs> Buena soup. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I'm thinking. This is so romantic. They're out here mm. slow dancing. Oh my goodness. The live music. I'm not gonna lie. I do have a tiny crush on Corey because like... <laughs> This is so romantic. Taking her out here, the stars, the ocean in the background. Bro, somebody took me on this date. They are leaving with my draws. I tell you right now. <laughs> and from the sound of it, Genevieve thinks the same. She ready to drop them draws. Oh my gosh. So we know that Corey is a songwriter and he's playing a song for Genevieve. <laughs> this is so romantic. It kind of sounds like he's playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star low key, but I'm gonna pretend like, oh, someone just tipped him. I'm gonna pretend like this is the most romantic song. <laughs> I'm feeling the hots too for him, Jen. <laughs> So Corey led Genevieve down here near the rocks in the water, and I can see he's putting a little bit of game on her. Okay. Okay, I think that Genevieve has the hots for him, and she's like physically melting for him, so I think he deserves a first kiss. And he took the lead. Love that for us. <laughs> It was getting really chilly near the water, so these two headed indoors, and I'm really liking Corey because I feel like he's very mature and responsible and romantic. I think he would be like a good man to take care of Genevieve. I don't know. I'm just like really liking him. Like, dude, that was so cute. No, a rose. Oh! Yes, he's oh, winning he's me boy. over. Me too, Jen. Me too. Oh. oh my god. This is so cute. 
Okay, this has been, in my opinion, an amazing date. We've gained a few sentiments about Corey, so let's go over everything we've learned about him so far. So we know that he's adventurous and ambitious. There's two other traits we don't know. Um, he really likes painting. He is a songwriter, high school graduate. They're sweethearts. Oh my gosh. The foundation of a strong friendship has forged a lasting love. What? Gosh. So Genevieve's first impression about Corey was that he's sophisticated. The Sim seems to be a person of good taste and knowledge. Okay. And they're closer from happy memories. And then Corey's sentiment about Genevieve was that she's independent and capable. The Sim strikes Corey as a very capable and independent person. Oh my gosh. I love that first impression. Genevieve is an independent woman trying to get her own nail shop. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So I'm going to end this date off here and I'll bring her back home. It is the next morning and Jen just made herself some breakfast and look who's at our door chloe she says hey there so the hot water is out at my place and i kind of need a bath think it would be okay if i cleaned up here hmm that seems like a lure just to come over i don't think she knows that we've been going out on different dates but uh, i'm just gonna let her over because that's my friend and if her hot water is out yeah girl you can use my shower no problem Dad, she wasn't joking she's in the towel and everything <laughs> okay i'm going to allow her to shower at my place let me go ahead and unlock my door so she can come in. Uh-huh. <laughs> dag, dag. Hey, girl. Come on in. Take a shower at my place. No problem. Jen is down here drinking her morning coffee, but we have to kind of see if what we had with Clovey was something serious or was it just a little by curious moment or what? So we have to go on a date and try that out. See if Jen is feeling it. And I'm going to say that Chloe came over here just so she could get Jen's attention, just so she could ask her out on a date <laughs> because I think she has a huge crush on Jen and it seems like something she would do, especially if she saw Jen going out of her apartment for a few days dressed up. She probably got a little jealous and was like, I need to get Jen back. I need her to have her attention on me. <laughs> For this date, Chloe is taking Jen to a vineyard. This is like a little winery where they actually ferment the grapes on the lot. So they're going to do a little taste testing of some wine. Chloe has a huge crush on Jen and she's really trying to win her over. Oh, bleach. She is really putting the moves on Jen. Oh my God. Flashes a breeze. Chloe's feeling super flirty, of course. She's a big flirt, to be honest. This winery has a ton of different wine for us to choose from. I'm gonna grab some. I'm gonna try this one uh, mulled with orange and cinnamon. And then I'll have Chloe take the honey and cinnamon one. They're drinking their wine and there's actually a comedy show going on right now. So they're watching that too. <laughs> they're like flirting. No, Sneeb. I think Chloe is telling us some hot gossip right now, but Jen is feeling very uncomfortable because she's sitting with the high maintenance trait. Sometimes it is what it is, so she feels butthurt. Girl, stop. Okay, uh, we need to socialize with our date 10 times and we have to be flirty at the same time. So Chloe's already feeling very flirty. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get myself flirty. Let me just blow a kiss at her. Ooh. Okay, let's do some more flirty interactions because she's feeling so uncomfortable. I'm gonna confess my attraction to her because she is a very attractive person. She needs to know. Look at that stare that Chloe is giving her. Okay, we are ordering the most expensive glass of wine and then we are going to go to Chloe's part two of this date. All right, we are headed to part two of this date. Chloe's actually very romantic. So she is headed behind us 
She is supposed to be leading the way, but we know where we're going. Um, <laughs> and if you can see in the distance ahead, you see all of those fairy lights. Well, Chloe has actually set up a very romantic picnic for the both of them. And I am super excited to show you what it is. This is the picnic that Chloe set up for Genevieve. And bro, if somebody did this for me, I would literally just cry. Like, <laughs> this is so beautiful. They're out here talking, flirting, and this is really romantic. Like, Chloe, she set all of this up for us. Look at all the little fairy lights and then this beautiful lake. Oh, the little butterflies out here. This is gorgeous. I love this. This is amazing. We got the cheese. We got some pie. Got some wine. Oh my gosh. And they're getting along very well. There hasn't been any arguing. There hasn't been any jealousy. It's just, they're getting along very, very nicely. Oh, it looks like we actually gained a sentiment. Let's see. What is it? Dead, dead. Comfortably compatible lifestyles. Jen found that sharing a lifestyle with Chloe only deepened the attraction that Genevieve feels. Oh my goodness. I just know that Chloe baked this little pie with so much love. Or maybe she did some a little voodoo and it's gonna make her, it's gonna make us fall in love with her. I don't know, but it looks delicious and I'm pretty sure it tastes delicious. Yeah, mm, it tastes really good. <laughs> I decided to have them do some fishing while they were out here. There was this little fishing post right next to us. So I'm going to see if they catch anything good. Chloe has Jen feel in some type of way. And I just don't know how to feel about this because I feel like every date that she's gone on so far has been really, really good. Look at Jen. She's just like staring deeply into her eyes. Yes. This is technically our first date, and I think she got Jen hooked. Like, <laughs> they are really feeling each other. I'm so confused. I don't know who to choose because every date we've gone on has been really good. <laughs> oh, not the mistletoe kiss. So cute. Okay, it is getting super late, so I am going to hug Chloe goodbye and thank her for taking us on this immaculate date. And then tomorrow, we are going to be going on our final date with Roman. I also just want to take a moment to look at the sky. These stars look amazing. They're just like shooting by. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. All right, it is the very next morning, and Jen has already gotten ready for her final date that she's going to be going on, and this one is going to be with Roman. We've hung out with Roman a few different times when we were vacationing in Salvadorada, and we got really close with him, and we learned a lot about him. We spent a lot of time with him, and we found out that he is a family person. He's very loyal, and so for this date, he's actually bringing Genevieve home to his mama, and they're going to be cooking dinner, and they're just going to have a big family dinner, and they're all going to hang out together. We have made it to Roman's family's home, and we're basically going to meet his entire family, cook a traditional dinner together, eat it, and spend some quality time with Roman. Their little house is so cute. I love it. I'm here. Come on in. Yay. Roman opened the door for us, and I'm just talking to him, and then he's going to introduce us to his entire family. Okay, so the first two people I see is Roman's grandmother and his sister. This is his sister, Lucia, and his grandmother, Mariana. So I'm going to first respectfully introduce myself to her. Oh, wait, do they already know each other? Oh, shit, I think they already know each other. Okay, well, we don't have to do an introduction, but I will um, get to know her a bit. I don't know if I know her or not. I don't. Okay, I'll do a respectful introduction to her. This is Roman's mother, Elena. As you can see, Roman has a lot of women in his life, so Genevieve needs to make a good impression. Okay, <laughs> a little respectful introduction. Let me get to know her a little bit. 
Okay, me, Roman's sister, mother, and grandmother are all going to make a meal together. I'm going to get to know his family a little bit, and we're going to make this one meal that I'm not going to try to pronounce. <laughs> all right, we're just making this meal for everyone. It is in the oven, and we're just waiting for it to come out. Also, Genevieve started feeling very tense because she has a hangnail. Ah. Oh, they've come out. They look delicious. These are the little cheesy buns that we made. Jen is here with Roman's entire family, and they just finished eating their meal. They're all just chatting and getting to know each other, and I think this is a really cute moment because it shows that Roman is very family-oriented, and considering the fact that Genevieve lost both of her parents recently, I think it feels really good to be around a big happy family again. I'm really happy that Roman decided to do this for Genevieve. Everyone is chatting and getting along very well. Genevieve just fits right in. <laughs> Everyone came outside to dance a little bit and they have a really nice pool outside. I think I'm going to try to impress his family with my bartending skills, so I'm going to make some drinks for everyone. Let's see, what is something really high skill? <laughs> Dad, I'm like, I really want to impress them with my skill on skill level two. But I'm going to make this drink here, the Coco Loco. I am going to take care of you guys. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, maybe this wasn't the best plan. Maybe I should have <laughs> got my skill up before I said I was going to do this. It's okay. I'm sure they'll come out amazing. See, they look good. What quality are they? They're normal quality. <laughs> it's okay. That's good. Better than spoiled or bad. All right, I'm serving up all of these drinks. I'm gonna chat by the pool with Roman, maybe. The sun has set and Roman's family went inside, so me and Roman have a little alone time together. And I'm just doing a little flirty flirt with him. We lit the fireplace and we're just doing a little flirty flirty out here. Honestly, I really respect Roman for bringing us home to meet his family. I feel like that was very humble and not a lot of men would do that. We were taking things slow with Roman, but I think he deserves a first kiss as well. Oh my gosh, y'all. Roman is taking us to his room. Oh Lord Jesus. All right, we are in Roman's room, and I am nervous. Oh, Jen is, <laughs> Jen is in. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is getting, this is getting intense. Let me get out of here. I feel like, I feel like I walked in on something I shouldn't have seen. <laughs> I kind of want to take a peek. Wait, let's take a little peek. Ah! Okay, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. We're just gonna hear. Okay, wait. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Oh my God, I was right. What y'all doing in here? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> well, if she's going to lose her V card to anyone, I'm glad it's Roman cause he's like a good guy, but. <laughs> uh, uh. Not the best weekend. Their little heads pop up. Woo. Okay. And he was like, nope, we are not cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I'm so dead because the D really put her to sleep. Jen is about to wake up from her nappy poo and we have to do the walk of shame. It's 3 a.m. in the morning and we need to go home. We need to get out of here ASAP. Ah. Come on, girl. Get up. Let's go. Jen made it home last ah. night and it's the next morning. She's here writing in her journal and I think she's just kind of going over all of the dates that she went through and <laughs> we need to make a list of pros and cons and what we're going to do. You guys need to help me decide who is going to be the best fit for Jen. I have no idea. There's so many good options. I went ahead and found out everyone's traits, so we're going to go over them before we decide. All right, so we have contestant number one, Logan Travis. His traits are bro, neat, dog lover, and... <laughs> 
kleptomaniac, which is definitely a red flag. He is a tattoo artist. That's his current career. They are lovers, best friends. They went on a Simsda date and they had an awesome time. He thinks that she's funny. They're deeply connected. And then he thinks that um, she's wonderful. He wants the best for her. And they're closer from happy memories. Contestant number two, we have Corey Pierce. His traits, he's ambitious, a music lover, adventurous, but he hates children. And that's kind of, I don't know, like I can't picture Jen having kids right now, but maybe down the line, she came from a really close knit family. So not liking kids. I don't know. Is that a red flag for us? I don't know. His career is he's a songwriter. He's a high school graduate. They are currently sweethearts. Genevieve's first impression of him was that he was sophisticated. They have a sentiment that they're closer from happy memories. And then his first impression of Jen was that she's independent and capable. He seems very romantic and he got a little money for being a songwriter. And honestly, he kind of won me over when he was serenading her with the piano. <laughs> okay, our third contestant is Roman Diaz. His traits, he's a foodie, he's active, loyal, and romantic. Um, his sexual orientation, he's interested in women, but he will, ooh, woohoo with men and women. Ooh, okay. They are currently lovebirds and it looks like he is romantically exploring. So <laughs> that's interesting. Um, I really like Roman. We met him on vacation and just him bringing Jen home to his family was really cute. And I can tell that he's a very family oriented person. He has a lot of culture. I think Genevieve could learn a lot from him and she would finally have that little family that she's missing since her parents died. As far as Roman's career, he is currently working with his dad. His dad owns a landscaping business and his dad really wants him to take over the family business, but that is not what Roman wants. Roman really wants to become a chef. And so I think even if we don't end up with Roman, I'm still going to try to push him to pursue his dreams of becoming a chef. And then we have our last contestant, Chloe. Her traits are that she's jealous, hot-headed, and romantic. <laughs> okay, jealous and hot-headed are kind of really bad traits but <laughs> she's currently unemployed as well. I think I'm going to push her to pursue her dreams too because I want to see what she's interested in. As far as her sexual orientation, she likes men and women. And then their relationship, they are soulmates, best friends, woohoo partners, and neighbors. So they actually did not have woohoo yet. Chloe asked Jen to become her woohoo partner, but they didn't do anything. So it's all up in the air if <laughs> that will ever happen. And as as far as their sentiments, they are both deeply connected with one another. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to give the video a huge thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to post a poll as soon as this video is posted so you guys can help me choose who Jen should pursue. Be sure to check out the community tab on my page to vote. Also, don't forget to comment below and give me your explanation of why Jen should choose this person. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!